Hey everyone, welcome to Skein Spider and to the second part of the mix and match mushroom tutorial. If you haven't seen part one already, make sure to check that out first. But if you have, grab your hooks and let's get started. For all the mushroom bottom pieces, I'm going to be using white yarn, but again, you can use whatever color you like. We're going to begin with the bottom piece number one and we're going to put six single crochet in a magic circle also have your 10 millimeter safety eyes on hand because we're going to be using those if you're using eyes at all that is round two is six increases Round three is one single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Round four is one single crochet or one increase and then we're going to repeat two single crochet and an increase five times, finishing off the round with one single crochet. Round five is three single crochet and an increase repeated six times. At the end of round five, you should have 30 stitches in your round and then round six through to 12 are just going to be 30 single crochet. Round 13 is three single crochet and a decrease repeated six times. After round 13, I'm going to take out my hook and just secure the end. And we're going to insert the safety eyes. I'm going to be using 12 millimeter, but you can use whatever size you like. We're going to insert the eyes between rounds eight and nine. So if you start from the bottom of your work, count round one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to insert them between here. I like to have mine five stitches apart, but again, that's up to you and how you'd like the mushroom to look. There's one. I'm just going to count out five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and then in the sixth, that's where I'm going to put my second. When you're happy with how your eyes look, go ahead and put the backs on. And at this point, we're also going to add a little bit of stuffing. If you want your mushroom to sit fairly flat, press the bottom down onto a flat surface and then begin stuffing. But if you don't mind, if you'd rather it be rounded on the end, just stuff it as you're holding it. After that, we're going to continue on with round 14, which is going to be six single crochet and one decrease repeated three times. After round 14, you should have 21 stitches. Rounds 15 through to 19 are just going to be 21 single crochet. And round 19 is also going to be our last round. When round 19 is done, we're just going to slip stitch to finish off. Leave a tail for sewing. We're going to finish adding the rest of the stuffing and then the first mushroom bottom is all done. Mm -hmm. 
number two also starts with six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is six increases. Round three is one single crochet, one increase repeated six times. Round four is one single crochet, one increase, and then a repeat of two single crochet, one increase five times. Finish off with one single crochet. Round five is worked entirely into the back loop and we're going to do 24 single crochet. Just remember, do them in the back loop only. Both rounds six and seven are just going to be 24 single crochet and this time we're working in both loops again. Round eight is 10 single crochet and then one decrease repeated twice. Rounds nine through to 11 are 22 single crochet. Round 12 is nine single crochet and a decrease repeated twice. Rounds 13 and 14 are 20 single crochet. When round 14 is done, I'm going to insert the safety eyes. I'll be using 12 millimeter eyes for this one as well. But once again, it's totally up to you. Use whatever you think looks best. We're going to insert the eyes between rounds 11 and 12 in this one. So I know the back loops here, that was round five. So I'm just going to count up from that. All right. And this time I'm going to put the eyes three stitches apart. And I'm also going to put a little bit of stuffing in at this point as well. And then we'll continue on with round 15, which is going to be eight single crochet and a decrease repeated twice. Round 16 and 17 are 18 single crochet each. Round 18 is seven single crochet and one decrease repeated twice. And round 19 through to 21 is just 16 single crochet. Like with the last one, we're just going to slip stitch to finish off, leave a tail and then continue stuffing. Number three starts off with six single crochet in a magic circle. Mm -hmm. 
round two is six increases. Round three, one single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Round four is one single crochet followed by an increase, then a repeat of two single crochet, one increase done five times, and then one single crochet. Round five is three single crochet and an increase repeated six times. Round six is two single crochet followed by an increase and then you're going to repeat four single crochet, one increase five times and then finish the round with two single crochet. Round seven and eight are going to be 36 single crochet. Round nine is 16 single crochet followed by a decrease repeated twice. Round 10 is 34 single crochet. Round 11 is 15 single crochet and a decrease repeated twice. Round 12 is 32 single crochet. Round 13 is 14 single crochet and a decrease repeated twice. Round 14 is 30 single crochet. Round 15 is 13 single crochet, one decrease repeated twice. Round 16 is 28 single crochet. Round 17 is 12 single crochet followed by a decrease repeated twice. Round 18 is 26 single crochet. Round 19 is 11 single crochet, one decrease repeated twice. And rounds 20 and 21 are just 24 single crochet. Round 21 is our last round, so just slip stitch, leave a tail, and then we're going to insert the safety eyes between rounds 13 and 14, three stitches apart. After that, stuff the piece, and with that, you're all finished.
Number four starts with six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is six increases. <laughs> Round three is three single crochet and then an increase repeated three times. Round four is worked entirely into the back loop and we're just going to do 15 single crochet. Rounds five through to nine are just going to be 15 single crochet as well. Round 10 is one decrease followed by 13 single crochet. When round 13 is done, I'm just going to take out my hook and secure my end. Then we're going to add the safety eyes. This time I'm using 10 millimeter safety eyes. So a little bit smaller than the previous mushrooms. And I'm going to put them between rounds seven and eight, two stitches apart. When the eyes are in, we're just going to begin stuffing. And then we're just going to continue stuffing as we continue crocheting. Alrighty, hook back in and then rounds 11 through to 15 are just 14 single crochet. Round 16 is one decrease and then 12 single crochet. After round 16, I'm just going to add a little bit more stuffing. And then rounds 17 through to 21 are going to be 13 single crochet. And then round 22 is our final round and we're just going to start with a decrease and then do 11 single crochet. Slip stitch to finish. Leave a tail for sewing. And then all we're going to do is finish stuffing and that's number four done. Our fifth and final mushroom piece also begins with six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is two single crochet and an increase repeated twice. Round three is eight increases. Round four is one single crochet, one increase repeated eight times. Mm -hmm. 
round five is one single crochet followed by an increase and then repeat two single crochet one increase seven times and then we're just going to finish the round with one single crochet Round six is three single crochet, one increase repeated eight times. At the end of round six, you should have 40 stitches in your round. And then round seven through to 13 are just going to be 40 single crochet. Round 14 is eight single crochet followed by a decrease repeated four times. Round 15 is going to be 36 single crochet. Round 16 is 10 single crochet followed by a decrease repeated three times. Round 17 is 33 single crochet. Round 18 is nine single crochet and a decrease repeated three times. Round 19 is 30 single crochet. After round 19, we're going to insert the safety eyes. I'm actually going to be using 14 millimeter eyes. I was originally going to use 12, but I decided I'd like the eyes to be a little bit bigger. We're going to put the eyes between rounds 13 and 14 and have them six stitches apart. I'm just widening the gap a little bit with my scissors because the 14 millimeter eyes are a little bit too big to fit through my stitches here. So just making a bit of room with the scissors. When the eyes are done, we're going to continue on with round 20, which is eight single crochet, one decrease repeated three times. Round 21 is 27 single crochet. Round 22 is seven single crochet and a decrease repeated three times. And round 23, our very last round, is just going to be 24 single crochet. Slip stitch, tail, and then just add some stuffing. when that's done it's time for the mix and match part so you're going to take all your mushroom bottoms and all the mushroom tops and you're basically just going to choose which bottom you want to put on which top
when you've made your choice, so you know which which tops are matching to which bottoms, you know to grab your pins and then just pin pin the mushrooms together. When they're all pinned, we're going to go ahead and sew the two pieces together. Just be careful when you are doing this, the wider topped mushroom, because there's no stuffing for the pins to dig into, so they do tend to stick through, so please don't hurt yourselves. Now you're just going to grab your needle, and whichever mushroom you're going to be sewing first, thread the tail end through. Come on, there we go. And then just sew the top to the bottom. If you need to add a little bit more stuffing, because I know it sometimes can be hard to stuff them properly with these larger open pieces, sew the bottom on for about three quarters of the way, so you, until you get to about here. Add some more stuffing at that point, and then just continue sewing. When you finish sewing, you're just going to weave in the tail end through the body a few times to secure it and then snip it off. And then you're just going to repeat that process of sewing, of sewing, adding more stuffing and then finishing sewing to the rest of the mushrooms. Also, when it comes to the wide top mushroom, so the one where we did the outside piece and the inside piece, when you sew it together, make sure you're only sewing through the inside piece because if you go up and then through the outside, you're going to see your stitches. So you only want to go through this inside piece. Now that we're all sewn together, we've got one more step, which you can skip if you want to, but I don't think you're going to want to. We're going to add some decoration. So what you can do is something simple, like with this mushroom here. I've just added some variation to the underside, and I did that by threading my needle with some of the light green coloured yarn, then just going around the bottom of the mushroom to create these lines. Um, I'm actually going to show you how to do it, but in a different manner. So I'm going to take my pink mushroom here and my, whoops, my white yarn. You're going to thread the end through your needle and then just cut off a length about, I'd say, 30 to 40 centimeters long. Take your mushroom and your needle. Let's focus up here. And then you're going to insert your needle somewhere into the body, doesn't matter where, or rather the top of the mushroom. And then we're going to create some spots. So wherever you'd like your spot to be, so I'm going to do my first one up here. I'm going to push my needle through and then out of the stitch. And then I'm going to pull on that white yarn until only a little tail is left hanging outside here. This just needs to be long enough that you can tie it off at the end. It doesn't need to be any longer than that. And then all I'm going to do is from where we emerged at the top here, I'm going to go two stitches down. So I'm going to skip this one and work into the second one. Go into there, back up through the stitch that I just emerged from. So the first one. And I'm going to pull on that firmly. Make sure as you pull on it that you're not pulling too hard that this tail comes through. If it does, you're going to have to repeat the process, start again. And then I'm just going to do that three or four times. The more times you do it, the more prominent your spot is going to be. So it's entirely up to you how many times you want to do it. And three. Then I'm going to do a second one. So I'm going to go into the second stitch, across one, pull 
that firmly and I'm just going to repeat we'll get in there one two three and then I'm just going to make a third whoops okay let's stay in there for now <laughs> And I'm going to make a third spot. And three. Now the reason I made my tail fairly long is I'm going to do a series of three spots. So I may do one like here, one here, one here, etc. It's entirely up to you. If you run out of thread, I will show you how to finish off with this at, after I've done all these stitches. If you do run out of thread, you finish off and then just do the same thing again. Cut a length and start the process again. So I've done three lots of the spots so far. I'm just going to finish off now. So I'm going to go back into the last stitch I did and then push my needle out through that original stitch we worked into to create our tail. So out of that same stitch. Then all we need to do is knot our yarn off a couple of times. Two and three. Snip off the excess. Then grab your hook and we're going to insert it into the mushroom and then out of the stitch where the knot is and just pull that back into the body. Now I'm going to do this two or three more times just to make some more spots around. And the same technique, so working into the body, creating your design, and then working back out the original stitch to knot off and then hide the knot in the body, is how we do these lines as well. So you'd work in, say, here, go create all the lines, work back out that same stitch, knot off, and cut it off, and then hide it in the body. I'm going to demonstrate the next method we can use to create spots on our mushrooms on this blue one here. You're going to need your yarn and your hook. Now decide where you want the, the spot to sit. I'm just going to work into here. You're going to push your yarn into one stitch and then straight out the next one. As you can see here, I've only gone through one stitch. Take your yarn and you're going to leave a tail. Make sure this tail that's going to sit outside the body is long enough that you can use it to thread your needle and then weave it into the body. I'm going to line the yarn up next to my hook. And then again, that's long enough that I can weave it in later. I'm going to pull the yarn, yarn over and pull the yarn through that stitch. And then I'm just going to slip stitch to join it. Okay, once that's done, we're going to make a popcorn stitch. So we start with a double crochet, yarn over, go into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, or where we just joined. You're going to yarn over and pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over once more, pull through two of those loops, the first two. This will leave you with two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. We're going to do this three more times, all in that same stitch we've already worked into. Yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, and then pull through the last two. Twice more. And two. Okay, now what we're going to do 
is pull up on your hook so you have quite a large loop here and make sure that doesn't pull through otherwise you're going to have to do the last double crochet again and then we're going to insert our hook into the top of the first double crochet that we did so count your stitches backwards if you need to so this is number four the first V here on this side three two and one is right here so I'm going to insert my hook under this stitch from front to back so my the head of my hooks at the back here and from there you're going to take this large loop that you left place it over the head of your hook and then pull on the yarn that's still attached to your yarn ball firmly so that loop shortens and then we're going to do like a slip stitch we're going to take this yarn that we've just placed on our hook and pull it through the first double crochet that we did so the stitch that we just put our hook into and then to finish our popcorn stitch I'm just going to slip stitch at the back here so pull through slip stitch to finish off come on Oh, that tangled up there. There we go, slip stitch to finish off. You're going to cut a little tail. Again, it just needs to be long enough that you can weave it in. And then take your needle thread one of the ends through it, doesn't really matter which one, you don't have to do them in any, in, in any specific order. And then we're just going to work straight back into the stitch to hide it, weave it in through the body, and then trim. Do the same for the second one here. I'm going to go into the stitch that I slip stitched into to finish. Pull firmly. See that lays flat against the top of the mushroom. And then just weave it through. Whoops. Bit hard if your yarn comes out of your needle. You can do this as many times as you like. I'm probably going to do two more. And I'll just go through the process once more time because it can be a little bit, bit confusing the first few times you do it. So take your hook, choose a stitch. I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to push my hook one stitch across. Make sure your tail is long enough that you can weave it in. Pull the yarn through. So yarn over, then pull it through, slip stitch to join together. And then we're going to do four double crochet. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Repeat that three more times. Also, if you'd like to make the little spots a bit bulkier, you can do five or six double crochet. Pull up with your hook and leave a nice large loop. Make sure it doesn't pull through. We're going to count backwards to our first stitch. So four, three, two, and one. Insert your hook into that from front to back. Put the loop on your hook and then tighten it up. Pull through that first stitch and then we're just going to slip stitch to finish off. Weave in your ends again and then just repeat for as many spots as you want.
the last thing we're going to do is crochet some little spots which we're then going to sew onto our last mushroom. You're going to create three different sizes. The first size, large, is going to be six single crochet in a magic circle for round one. And then round two is going to be two single crochet, one increase repeated twice to bring you up to eight stitches. The medium spot, number two, is just going to be six single crochet in a magic circle. And then the small spot, number three, is just four single crochet in a magic circle. So pretty basic patterns. You're going to make four large, five medium, and three small. Well, that's what I'm going to make. You can make whatever you like. I'm also going to make them in the same color as the underside of my mushroom, because I like the way that looks. All you're going to do is crochet all your spots and then pin them, to, pin them to the top of your mushroom and then sew them on. I hope you like these guys. Uh, they're kind of addictive to make. I've made more than probably reasonable at this point. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. And if you do make any, feel free to share them with me on Instagram or Tumblr. I'd love to see them. And I'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.